G'day. This video is all about cleaning your headlamps. Getting rid of that yellowy film or the foggy look on your headlamps. And it's not just for nighttime drivers, and it's not just for travelers. It's for anybody who's driving with their lights on. You might as well get the best out of your lights you possibly can. Stick to the end and I'll give you a hint. In fact, I'll tell you exactly how you can do the whole job in less than a minute, the lazy way. So let's go. In my last session, I was talking about cleaning these uh, these headlights. Now, at the moment, they're filthy just by being in the mud and all that sort of stuff. But as a close-up, I can see it's got that yellowy film, and I'm led to believe that that might actually be illegal to drive. Since I've done the other one, the quick fix, uh, the lights definitely hold a lot better. But this one here, I want to get back to mint, and apparently also you can also put it on your driving lights. I'm not sure if I'm game enough to do that, but <laughs> we'll see. But today, I'm gonna to do that. So where you're using this uh, product, bought that at Bunnings, it's just basically a clear coat, and it's um, gloss. I don't want flat, but uh, gloss will bring it up. And these are the three sandpapers I've got. 400, 600, and 2000. And the most important is to keep this wet at all times and obviously the wet and dry as well. So, let's get into it. Here we have your basic dirty four-wheel drive with dirty lights. There are all sorts of solutions on the internet. Toothpaste, lemon juice, Windex, soap, sugar soap, baking soda, Rain-X, white vinegar, Coca-Cola, and magic eraser. The lenses are a polycarbonate material, and when exposed to UV radiation, they get little microscopic cracks in it, and that's what causes that filming on the lens. I was talking to someone the other day, they said there's this little trick that you can actually clean the, uh, the lenses or the covers of your light. At the moment, um, as you can see, it is absolutely atrocious. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some water over it, give it a bit of a wipe, like a general wipe, show you how good it is then, and I'll show you the trick and you can try it out yourself. Six hundred.
just while you're watching I must say I've done the 400 I've done the 600 and now I'm uh, pretty mildly stressed because there's lots of scratches on that uh, perspex but apparently that's what we want so uh, carry on regardless now Now before we get into this next section it's important to tape over the light and the light area so I just had these uh, little rubbish bags that I was using but the ideal one if you're going to go and buy them would be to buy uh, you know those really big black plastic bags that you use for the big uh, rubbish bins you need maybe one or two of those cut out a little slot to put to leave the uh, light and then um, ma put masking tape or something similar on the bonnet. The reason for masking tape is it won't damage the paint when you pull it off. And a little hint, make certain you probably buy yourself some new masking tape. If you use the old ones, <laughs> we all go through it. You pull a little bit and then it goes sideways and bits, and then you've got to get your fingernail start again. Then you pull a little bit more and it side goes sideways and you can never get a full run. So with a nice, so just get a small one, a nice um, brand new one, all the glue and everything on the Masking tape will be a whole lot better quality. Doesn't matter how rough you do it, <laughs> see mine, how rough you do it, but just make certain that the, uh, the body itself is covered by the plastic and you've only exposed the glass or the perspex rather of the light because you don't want to get any of this clear coat on your paint. I've deliberately uh, let the sun dry the lights just to make them uh, look a bit more like the colour they were. Now I think it's reasonably dry now. It doesn't look that bad but it also doesn't look that great. We have a piece of bamboo cloth. The magic ingredient. Classic WD-40. Now it's the general purpose one. Don't get all the others. There's a whole various different types you can get. I'm just using the general WD-40. What you need to do is spray a couple of little bit on the uh, cloth, not on the light or other things and then give it a bit of a wipe a wee bit more I don't know whether you can tell, I've only done the middle part, I haven't done the top and the bottom deliberately because I want to hopefully be able to see the difference myself. <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty good I think. Here's a random tip for you, uh, it's a safety tip, it's about your cleaning of the windows. Now uh, a lot of the time, or most of the time, I really like my windows 
crystal clear my front windows when you do the windows make certain you do the inside because you'd be surprised you're probably not surprised but as you're driving along you're trying to mo flick mozzies and hits hit flies and all that sort of stuff and you get little marks on the inside of your windscreen and yeah it's okay to ignore them but uh, it's nice to have it nice and crystal clear out the front and nice and clean and uh, easy to see through on the inside the other thing as I said make certain you clean your mirrors both your mirrors so you've got a really great vision the last thing is here's the real trip trick um, along here on the rubbers people often don't clean them now you can clean it with the chamois if you do you may have a mark on that chamois forever very hard to get off or you can use an old rag or a paper towel or if you're really um, what the word lazy or <laughs> sort of bachelor type you could uh, just use your fingers make certain you go along that rim of the uh, rubber and if, if you're doing your fingers you actually feel it and then uh, it's all nice and clean so when it goes back on there is nothing worse if you don't do that it's nothing worse have a nice clean windscreen and off she goes and there's a mark right in the middle or on the edge or it's just like oh does such a great job in this then you think oh I'll throw out the wipers don't need to just clean them Good morning. Well, <laughs> for those of you who've been following the mouse escapade, um, I'm up to plan D, I think, or E. Um, a local person very generously gave me a, a lid for a bucket. So what you do is you put the lid on there and you've got a little swinging trap. And uh, one of my fellow travellers made some modifications so it wouldn't fit my bucket. <laughs> Not really. uh, that's all done. And they've all said put a bit of peanut butter at the end of the this little ramp so basically what's supposed to happen is the mouse is supposed to climb up the ladder oh peanut butter yeah then walks across on this slippy slope and falls down the bucket no no harm done to the mouse it might be a little bit of bruising to fall that distance but now the question is did i catch him so i haven't harmed him i just want to catch him and ask him to head out of here here we go The mouse! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I've caught my mouse! Yoo-hoo! So just to recap the whole process, you wash the light with soap, water, rinse it, dry it off. You then put masking tape around the light. What you're trying to do is protect the both the protect the light and also protect the uh, that you don't put sandpaper on the actual body of the car. You then rub down with your uh, 400, rub down with your 600, and at the end of that, you give it a rinse off and you wipe it with a paper towel to get any little fragments of plastic off. Last bit of the rubbing is the 2000. You then rinse that off, dry it off with a uh, paper towel again. You then put a uh, big plastic bag stick it to the bonnet and the mud guard and everything once that's done you um, put your masking tape again to hold that plastic down you then start spraying with the clear coat you do one very very fine covering of it go away for five minutes come back at least five minutes give it a second very fine cover go away <laughs> after another five minutes give it another and probably I probably ended up doing either three or four but you could even do five it just the more coats you put on the probably the better finish you're going to get but just be careful don't put too much because it will run and after that many coats you just let it go and um, that's it all done happy days well there you have it I trust you found this video helpful useful and or entertaining and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do and until next time this is Paul Will Drive signing off <laughs>